Hi everybody, it's Sandra. I just bought four more jewelry jars, so we're going to take a look at this one today. Oh, look at that swordfish. That looks cool. Uh, I don't know what these are. Bone or ivory, I guess, maybe just plastic. I don't know. There may be good stuff in here. It may just be a bunch of junk, <laughs> but for $10, as far as I'm concerned, it's worth just the enjoyment of opening it. How much is a movie? When you go to a movie, how much does that cost? Like $12 or something or $15? So for $10, I'm going to get my enjoyment out of it, and I hope you are as well. Thank you so much for coming, everybody. Let me know what you think below, okay? Subscribe to the channel, and I'll be right back. So let's try to open this without cutting these beads right here. So, like I said, I got four jars, and uh, the woman said to me, uh, oh, there is good stuff in those. Well, we'll find out about that. We'll be the judge of that, right? So let's dump some out here. Uh, oh, guess that's interesting. That's a good little a good little name brand. Well, hopefully there's some treasures in here. I got a couple of pieces, or no, maybe just one piece of gold in one of these once, uh, maybe twice. I, I don't remember, but um, yeah, let's see if there's any interesting necklaces. We will definitely uh, put those on our neck because somehow they look a lot better when they're on the neck. All right, I guess that's enough for now. Hopefully they're not too tangled. So let's see what her idea of good stuff is. I don't see any good stuff yet. I see some colorful stuff. Here's a cute little stick pin. Don't see a signature. It's certainly, certainly not real. Let's get these big necklaces out of the way. Nice and colorful. Right, I try not to put jewelry down because I know somebody out there is going to have it and then I don't want anybody to feel bad. So we will just stay positive on all these things because each piece does have its own its own beauty and I really do want my channel to be uplifting and not like, you know, a big bummer. <laughs> so, all right, well, these are cheap, so I'm just going to say it. I am just saying it. These are plastic. <laughs> and these are probably vintage, but wow. Oh, it's one necklace. I see. But see how kind of scratched they are. All right, now I'm sort of starting to like it. <laughs> I don't know. You know how that happens? That's probably from the 60s or something. Uh, okay, let's just get this one out too. That's a stretchy. That's a very pretty stretchy. Actually, I'm missing a stone. Oh, missing lots of things. I see. All right, and what is this big honking thing? Whoa, this looks like a shield. This is probably from the 60s. That's what it appears. Costume, too, that's for sure. And probably not anybody, right? Well, it's somebody. It's just not, just not signed. Well, we can put that one on our neck for fun. It's kind of a pretty thing. And here's a little ring. I wonder if that's supposed to go. No, I guess not. This might be gold electroplated or something. Nope, nothing. Okay. Okay, I'm not too impressed so far. I like this. I like this with the dangles. That's cool. I like that one. We'll definitely put that one on our neck. And yeah, let's see what's up with this. Barrel clasp. I guess these are hematite or something. Hmm. That's actually pretty. That's in very nice condition too. So we'll put that one on our neck. And what is this one? This one is just very worn. There's a lot of wear to the gold tone. It might not come through on my 
uh, camera. By the way, if it looks like my camera's too close and you're watching on an iPhone, when you're watching the YouTube video, you know, you can do this, this pinching thing on your screen and it will stop the, the sort of magnification thing that an iPhone does when you're watching YouTube videos. Just in case, just in case it's too close for anybody. Because uh, I am doing it really close, and then if you're watching it on your iPhone, then it is really super close. Uh, this is adorable. This is a little coin necklace. Let's see. That's cute. I can't read what that says. I can't read it through my um, uh, lens here, but I'll be able to see it on playback. Well, we'll put that on our neck. That's actually cute. I like coin jewelry. I think it's fun. And then we have these guess earrings. These are new on the card. These are actually nice. I wonder if they're missing anything. Uh, let me just have a quick uh, look with my loop. I'm just curious. It looks like these are good. I don't, I didn't see anything missing. This has like the fuzzy problem, you know, cause this was in a box with that cottony stuff. Uh, but those are pretty nice, actually. I might wear those. And here's a pretty little bracelet. This style of bracelet is called a bypass. It sure looks real. This is very nicely made. I mean, it's certainly not real, but I'm just looking for a mark. And I don't, I don't see one. That's in very nice condition, though. Now, what I've been doing with the jars in the past is I've been pulling out the stuff that is my favorite, and then I, uh, I put the rest in an auction. So I'm getting all my money back and maybe making a couple bucks. Not too much. This is actually a very pretty silver tone tassel necklace. Not old. There's our lobster claw clasp, patented in the mid-90s. Pretty, though. It can be tricky sometimes because, you know, clasps can always be changed. I mean, that one wasn't, but... Um, wow, <laughs> that's a really fun uh, cocktail ring. This one might be from the 1960s or the 1970s, maybe newer. I don't know. It's not very nicely made. You see that glue just yellowed off through the years. Of course, cocktail rings are so named because during Prohibition, flappers wanted to make sure that they were noticed drinking their cocktails. They didn't want to act like they were shrinking from authority. So that's why they became known as cocktail rings. And there's your little interesting trivia for the day. And here's a stretchy. Not too much stretch left in that one. And uh, is this a little Brighton? I'm not sure if that's the Brighton B. Hmm, maybe. I have a bunch of these too. I'm just getting ready. I was going to put them on my eBay page because I have... I guess several dozen Alex and Anis, but I think I'm just going to put them in an auction, actually. I just don't have the time. This is pretty. I'll put this on our, our neck. This is uh, prettier than it probably looks just in my hands. You know, or not. We'll have to we'll have to see what's up with with this one. I like the, the gold tone in between. So uh, I saw this other one. Okay, so here's some clip-on earrings. These aren't old or anything, but I I believe clip-on earrings, this sort of uh, mechanism or one similar to it was patented in the mid-1890s. Screwbacks, I think, were patented in the 1930s. Uh, something like that. I could be wrong, but I think, I'm, I think I am close on that. This is pretty. And this one is, might be marked too. Who are you? Uh, Rachel. Hmm. That looks like the Rachel Ray logo. She doesn't make jewelry, right? Or does she? I don't know. Um, it's a little tangled. All right, let me untangle this. Hold on. This one is pretty. Now, there's no catch on this. But that seems like maybe those are sterling, possibly. Um, I'm not sure. We can test those at the end if you want. I'll put it over here for my neck. And then we had this one. So this, because of the, the thread part, it's kind of just worn, you know, the, the thread. 
stuff. That, yeah, see? It's sort of fuzzy. So that doesn't really look very nice. So let's see how many stretchies we have right here. Three. Well, these two. I wonder if these two uh, go together. Not much stretch left. This elastic stuff does wear out through the years. So those are not, you know, high quality or anything. Oh, I love pendants like this. I don't like this on this cord, but I really do like this. Oh, that's pretty. That is very, very pretty. Hmm. I like that. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe this cord. Oh, I see. See? Yeah, it's, it's kind of wrecked. I like this part, though. I think I'll just take this other part out and uh, throw it out, though, because it like, sort of sullies the look of it, you know? These are pretty earrings. Nothing wrong with those. Those have a lot of shine. And let's see, we have some earrings right here. Oh. Oh. One of these things is not like the other one. One of these things just doesn't belong. Sesame Street, right? No, Electric Company, I think. Um, what is this? Huh, keychain. Why? I don't know what that is. Did it, it huh? It almost looks like that's supposed to be like together. I don't know. Is this like a puzzle? Uh, thing. Hmm. It's interesting too that I don't see a a designer on it because it seems like that kind of thing. Well, that's interesting. I don't know what it is. I'm going to put that one to the side as kind of, you know, being, being more better, more better than some of the other stuff. Pretty little earrings. Here's a little stretchy new. And here's some tassels. I don't know if these went out of style. Are tassel earrings still in? That was such a, a trend a couple years back. And Okay, not marked. And that's not jewelry, I don't think. That's like a... Well, I guess. I think that's the thing you put your scarf through. And this is kind of a fun little bracelet, isn't it? Nice colors. I like that one. I'll put that kind of to the side over here. And here's a button earring. These are, these are pretty. I like wearing stuff like this. Let's see if there's anything wrong with them. They're not really going the right direction. There they are. Um, wow, they're very different colors. Is that supposed to be like that? Green and yellow and then purple? I'm thinking not, but maybe, maybe. Here's a cute little costume bracelet. Let's see if there's a maker in here. Uh, don't see anything. And here's some earrings. All right, let's go get some more jewelry out of the jar. This is what I kind of wanted to get at some of these things in here. So I can dump them. This bracelet's going to be problematic. Okay, there it goes. All right. Uh, oh, this is nice. This is some sort of a uh, nuggety, uh, quartzy thing, I guess. Are those little, like, cheap pieces of amethyst? Uh, that's pretty, though. I like that. You can always tell the difference between stone or glass and plastic by the temperature. That's ice cold. Oh, look at this little weirdling. I guess, is that sponge? Huh, it's, it's hard. That is, that is uh, interesting. I bet you this says Hong Kong or some such. Let's see if anything. Nope, nothing. Nothing, honey. Oh, Germany. Well, this chain is, is very inexpensive. And who's to say, you know, this originally came on there. I like that, though, actually. <laughs> I think that's quite a conversation starter. That's interesting. I'll put that with the better, you know. And here's some glass beads. What's that called? Cat's eye, that effect? 
barrel clasp. But let's see if we can find the, oh, what in the, what the, look at this thing. It's a artisan folk art, Lee, 1977 duck. A wooden duck necklace. Well, this is very nicely carved, actually. Take a look at that. Boy, I have no idea how to carve wood. My dad did. My dad has kind of a big wood cutting studio that we inherited. So my husband, uh, when he retires, he wants to get into that kind of stuff. So we didn't sell it, but it seems very interesting. I bet you this was very difficult just because of its size. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe it's super easy. This is a, a nice cuff, kind of a Cleopatra looking thing, but it's missing a lot of its uh, whatever was on there to look like uh, brass or something. See how it just sort of scratched off. Um, but let's see if I can get to the, all right, I, this, this is really, oh, and this too. I want to see what this is. Okay. All right. Let's look at these first. Well, these are um, either bone or celluloid. Oh, I see. Look, she put them in here because it's missing its earring top. Uh, let me, let me see if I can figure it out. Hold on one sec. These are ivory. In fact, there is some like sort of cross hatching back here. So I wouldn't be able to sell them. Well, at least I wouldn't be able to sell them online. I don't see any breaks or anything. That probably took somebody a long time to carve. Those are interesting. Usually bone, by the way, ha can have black specks and those are called Herversion. I think that's how you pronounce it. Herversion canals, which I don't know, they carry blood or there's some sort of some medical thing. I don't know, veins or something. I'm not sure exactly, but I know when I see black specks, that usually means bone as opposed to ivory. And there are no black specks here, but I can also see the cross hatching. I don't think my camera will be able to get it, but well, those are pretty and those probably have some age also. And I like this little thing. I have a bunch of jewelry that has this sort of iridescent rainbowy purple, green, yellow thing. That's cute. This one's probably uh, from the 70s. It's in very nice condition. I like his eye. Uh, is that, that might be a little bit of loss. Not kind of cute though. I like it. I like it. Make a wish. Oh, okay. We saw this in the jar. I was wondering what this butterfly was. Well, let's see what the deal is here. Put on the story, make a wish. When the chain is worn through, legend says your wish will come true. Hmm, when the chain is worn through. Well, you know what I wish? I wish uh, I wish my chains wouldn't, <laughs> wouldn't do that. I wish they wouldn't wear through. That's my, that's my wish. So that's an odd thing. I think this might be leather. Yeah, sure it is. I hope I have the other one. Do I? Did we see the other one in there? Oh, yes. Well, these are very pretty. I like these leather ones. Screw backs. I don't see an artist signature or anything. These don't seem very new. These might be a few decades old. I like these. I like these quite a bit. What kind of flower is that? Uh, somebody will know. I think I know too, but I can't think of the name of it. You know, my words <laughs> and all that. That's a cool little tack pin. Montana. I see some cufflinks here. The initial C. Let's see if these are swank. Look like they may be a no name. Oops. Well, these are a nice shape. And we have a barrette. Sometimes barrettes can sell for a bunch of money, believe it or not. I'm going to put this with a lot I have. I'm just getting ready to put up a barrette lot, so I'm glad I have that one. And here's another little tack pin. World Cup Soccer USA 1990. Hmm. Sometimes these little things sell. I mean, I don't know if that one does, but sometimes they do. Here's the other barrette. Who remembers barrettes? I used to wear these. I also used to wear combs. Remember combs in the 80s? You'd put them in your hair and like hold your hair back. 
they never really held good for me because I have so much hair. But I remember those. Uh, are you anyone? Huh, not signed. So this place where I get the jars, they do sell jewelry. So I suppose if anything's signed or anything looks super good to them, you know, they take that out and sell that separate. So that's why I guess some of these some of these things aren't signed or most of them aren't. That's that's cool though. I like that. It almost looks like walnuts or something. It's a nice shape. Nothing wrong with that one. And here's another one. See, I have two of them. These are not stretchy. Those would be pretty on. You know that? Those would be pretty on. I'm gonna put that in the better in the better pile. Well, this is new, I think. That's actually cute though. Did I see a missing? Let's see. No, not missing. We can put this on our, our neck too. I don't know if we need to because you can just see right there how pretty it is, but yeah, we will. We will. Uh, let's see. I'm sure this one is not silver. It doesn't look it. Yeah, it's not. It's one of these fakies, which, you know, I, I kind of like and appreciate, you know, that somebody just liked wearing it or maybe couldn't afford a silver one. I get that. And some cool mother of pearl earrings. Uh, these are nice little things. These are very nice little things. What's wrong with these? Uh, let me just see if these are marked. They are not marked and they are also not real gold. I can just tell. These are nice though. I really like these. Look, I'll put those in with the better, you know. I have seen this exact one. This is somebody, I think. Uh, all right, maybe not. I do have this one, though, or I've seen it. Kind of a pretty sparkly thing. There's a fun ring. And this is, it was $5.00. Uh, that looks maybe maybe at somebody's yard sale or something. Uh, I don't know. It's actually pretty, though. Do you like that one? I do. Let me see if it fits me. It doesn't fit me, but this is very cool. Hmm, I like that. I remember these. That's really funny little kissing things, uh, not sterling. I guess this is just stainless or something or some sort of a, a, a not precious metal. Cute though, precious little, <laughs> little item. And here is, here's a necklace, a little, a little fakey gold tone. That's kind of pretty. And here's a, oh, that's a cute ring. Look, it's a bow missing a stone. That's kind of fun. I think it's not silver, right? We can tell that. Let me just see what that says. Just for fun, LS. Here's a shell earring. I guess there are a couple of single earrings in here. Hmm. Well, they might be in the other jars, but it's okay. They're not great. I think I saw Monet on this one, right? This bamboo. Yeah, there it is. All right. I guess there's only one of those, but what's this? That's pretty. This has more of the fuzzies from somebody's, somebody had it in a box with the, that's not cotton, right? What is that stuff? I'm not sure, but. I hate it. It does get all over jewelry all the time. This is like um, too big to be a bracelet. I guess this must be an anklet. And here's a set. We have these. And then this. Uh, not old. That's a nice shape though. It's very sparkly. And this, that must be the same one I just had in my hand. This is the same one, right? Yeah, so here's that other button earring. I have the pair of those. This one, I only see one, which is which is kind of 
a bummer because I do like that mother of pearl. Here's a tie tack. How about those uh, cufflinks? Did those say C on them also? I wonder. Let's see if it's marked. No, I guess not. Usually the mark is on the pin. A lot of times in jewelry they mark it there just so that it's not going to like ruin the, the look of the thing, you know, even the back. So they put it so that it doesn't show just to make it look nice. All right, well, that's it. Let's uh, put some of these on our neck and maybe we'll like them a little bit more if they're on their neck. Let me get it. I like this one. I really do. I think it's so different. I'm guessing that's a sponge if I'm wrong. Uh, tell me if anybody knows. I think it's different. You know, this on a nice chain, I like it. This one is pretty. This sort of looks like, like a young person's uh, necklace, if that makes sense. I really like it. This isn't old or anything. This is actually nice too. It's very sort of shiny. That's the butterfly. Here's our sort of masculine and massive 1960s or 1970s necklace. Oh look, that's like a, a little crystal in there. This seems to be missing quite a bit of the gold tone through the years, unless, unless it's silver tone. <laughs> Maybe it started out life silver tone. I don't know. Oh yeah, no, I think it's supposed to have more gold tone on there. I don't know. I like that one though. I had to double it up because it's really long. That one's pretty cool. This one is very pretty. This one had to be doubled up. And these are plastic, made to look like real stone. I think one of the other jars had a similar, these similar sort of spacers. That's really pretty. I really love long necklaces too, like a flapper length necklace, but it looks good doubled also. I knew this one would look cooler on the neck than it did just, you know, in, in my hand. This one's neat. Another sort of really massive statement necklace, spring ring. This one would look really good on with all of these things sort of moving around. I dig that one. This one was sort of hard to put on. I had to double it up because it's very, very long. I really like this. I love the way that, you know, one hangs down lower than the other. I really like that sort of, they're off balance. These would be really pretty when you walked. Yeah, this sort of has to be on a person really to get the the real vibe of it, but it's really long. It's in very nice condition. I love that one. Let's do a twofer here. This one's really pretty. We knew this one was gonna look nice and it does. And then this, we're wondering if those are silver or not. So we're gonna test those in a couple of minutes. Just give that a quick acid test. I like both of those. Who else loves coin jewelry? I really do. And this is neat. It's very light. So this would be nice to wear, comfortable to wear. And this is gonna have lots of shimmy and lots of movement. That one's really nice. Let's test our silver. The first thing I like to do is just check with a magnet because if it's magnetic, we don't even have to bother wasting our stuff uh, or, or our time. So these are not magnetic. So we're gonna take one of these beads and I'm going to scrape off some of the stuff. Now I'm gonna look with my loop to see if it's a different color underneath. I don't think so. I think that just took like the tarnish stuff off, but I don't know. That does not look promising. I think this is just probably um, silver plated, but uh, we can test it. So I'm gonna use 18 karat gold testing solution. And if this is real silver, that will look uh, blue. 
So let's see. Yeah, it, it isn't. It's just eating it up. It is turning blue. But it is just, can you see the blue? Hopefully you can. But this one is definitely just plated. Let's, let me try to show you a little bit more here. So you see that? That is not just the tarnish. That's just a whole different situation under there. That is not silver. All right. Well, uh, it could have been. <laughs> that's a shame. Still a pretty necklace, though. Well, that's it for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Stay tuned. I have three more jewelry jars that we're going to be getting to at some point. Let me know what you think below. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope you had fun. I definitely had fun. We'll catch you soon, everybody. Okay? Cheers.